when we talked about area, we talked about how many square units would fit inside of a figure, right? How many square inches, square centimeters, whatever. We're talking about volume, though. Well, that's when we talk about how many cubes will fit into, oh, that's so pretty. How many, uh, suppose this is a, an inch. So this guy would be one, what we call a cubic inch. This is how we measure volume, is in cubic units. All right. So there's a cubic inch. You could have some of this, you know, of course, a little bit smaller. Maybe make this guy a cubic centimeter. So this is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. Then you have one cubic centimeter. And when we're talking about volume, we're trying to figure out how many of these little cubes could we fit inside of a figure. And when I see cubes like this, I think about the old Transformers cartoon series from the 80s, Energon Cubes. You guys remember the Energon Cubes? Yeah. <laughs> Ball, white, green, all week. Hey, all right. And if you don't remember that, go back and watch the Transformers from the 80s. That's when it was good before all of a sudden Optimus Prime was a gorilla or now I, I've seen that Megatron is as a toy as a truck, which is so wrong, but whatever. I, sorry, I'm very upset with what things, with what's happened to my childhood toys. Things that used to be awesome have been destroyed by you guys. Mm -hmm. Well, we gotta make sure they're really cool for today's generation. You know, kids these days like things with uh, buttons and touch screens. So if I give you something like this. And suppose that we were to kind of mark off the different units that we have making up this shape. I hope that you guys appreciate my attention to detail. Okay, so if I look at this, this would be, what units do you want to use? Centimeters, inches, feet? Or do you want to go generic and just say units? Oh, you just want to go units? Okay, that's lame, but whatever. So what is the base of this figure? Ten. One, two, three, four, five. I see that this is five units for the base. Now what about for this guy? How deep is it? This is two units. And what is the height here? It's three units all for the height all around. Do you all agree? How many cubes would be in here? How would you figure that out? We could multiply all this stuff together, but I want you to see why that would be the case. If this were not two units deep, but it was only one unit deep like this, okay? How many square units do I have on the front here? If it's five by three, that's 15, right? So each of these layers as I go back is going to have 15 cubes in it, right? So five times three is 15, that's the area here, times the depth. And that's going to give you the volume. So the volume here the volume is equal to the five units times the two units times the three units. And whenever I do all of this together, that gives me what's five times two times three? What do we say? But we're going to say 30 cubic units. There are 30 cubes that could fit inside this figure. Are you with me? And this figure is what we call a rectangular solid.
<coughs> so when we talk about a rectangular solid, something that's just like a, a brick, like you guys play with blocks growing up, or maybe we're talking about Lego bricks, right? Do you ever play with Legos? Legos are really cool. What? They hurt? Yes, they do hurt when you step on them because your kids left them out. Even though you told them 10 times, please pick up your Legos. Okay, Daddy, we will. Lies. It's all lies. <laughs> you don't believe me? Have children. Buy them Legos. Thousands and thousands of Legos. Super small Legos. And have tile flooring. <laughs> You think it hurts on carpet. <laughs> now, it's all the product of length times width times height. I don't really care how you label this stuff. If you want to say this is the length, that's the width, and that's the height, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you're multiplying each of these three dimensions together. That's how you work this. So if I give you something that's just a generic rectangular solid, I hope that you guys will practice drawing nice, pretty pictures for me. <laughs> but my pictures aren't pretty like yours. Well, maybe you should work on it, you know? My pictures were not always pretty. But thanks to my parents who sent me to art classes, they had to be all right. So suppose this guy is a little less janky than I drew this. If I say this is six inches um, with the width, and the length here is 11 inches, and I have a height of 20 inches. Can you find the volume? Can you? Okay. Yeah, this doesn't really sound that enthusiastic. So, what's the formula for the volume? Yes, if, this were, if, if I were Bob the Builder or Barack Obama and I said, can we do it? <laughs> then you guys would say, yes, we can. So, all right, pretend I'm one of those two, whoever you like the most. Length times width times height. So what's the length? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what you want to call it. If you want to say it's 6 or 11, I don't care. No es importante. So maybe you want the length to be 11 inches, because it's 11 inches long going into the page, right? So what? What's the funny? Fine. This is 11 inches times what? What's the width? Yeah, it's 6 inches. What's, how tall is this? What's the height? 20 inches. All we have to do is multiply these numbers together. You can do this the easy way or the hard way. What's your choice? Easy way. Easy way is this. What's 6 times 11? 66. I could say 66 times 20, but I don't need to, right? Because I could just do 66 times 2 and tack on the 0. What's 66 times 2? If you're 66 years old now, how old will you be in another 66 years? You get, wow, you're going to be old. So is the answer 132? No. Tack on that zero. Now I'm good, right? Put a box around this. Pretty little bow. If you do that, you're wrong. My units. And what are my units, Dennis? Uh, cubic. cubic inches, right? Do we ever talk about cubic inches ever? No one ever talks about cubic inches? No, not even if you're talking about the size of your engine and your car? Oh, well, yeah, that we might, yeah, uh-huh. Or maybe you, you prefer the liters, right? Because you like the metric system so much. So does that mean you're, what, so what are you, 1.71 meters tall? Is that what you're going to do now? No, we're in America. In America, we use outdated English system of measurements. That's what we do here. Well, ain't nobody gonna tell me no different. That's what I do. 
Let's do another one of these rectangular solids. Sometimes I look at these like they're Legos. Sometimes I see them like they're cakes. I like cakes. Cakes are good. You like cakes? Cakes can be yummy. Let's suppose this guy is three quarters of a meter. As three quarters of a meter, it's not a whole meter. That's what we're talking about, Tim. How, how long do you want this guy to be? Two thirds of a, two thirds of a meter, that sounds good. How tall is this guy? Oh, Mr. Crick, he's tall. He's, he's tall, tall, tall. Maybe he's a, maybe a quarter of a meter tall. Okay, it's not as tall as I thought it was gonna be. And what's your volume? Ain't we got a formula for the volume? That's it. Length times width times height. What's your length here? This place is starting to hurt. Your length, depending on how you look at this, is going to be two-thirds of a meter. What's your width? Fine, I'll just do this problem for you. It's three-quarters of a meter. And what's your height? That's right, it's one, it's that, that quarter, that's one-fourth of a meter. Now I just got to multiply all these guys together. When I multiply them, what do, what do I get? You know what, I, I like to reduce first. When I, re when I reduce, it makes my numbers smaller. How can you reduce? Sam. Sam, how can you reduce? I, I can reduce the, the two with the four and give me a two, right? Is it, is it, what, what is that, Augustus? <laughs> Augustus, seems like you got a good answer on what you say. I need to know, is there anything else I can do? I can reduce the threes away. Bye bye. Bye bye. Anything else? No, it looks like I'm done. What's my numerator? A numerator, that top number is a one. Do I need to write the one? Yes. Yes. It is, as we say here in Texas, muy importante. <laughs> What's my denominator? That's right, it's eight. What are my units? We're talking about volume, so we're talking about cubic units.